Come rain, come sunshine Switch my heart and do you, you will find It's love for you All I got is love for you Oh yeah, yeah. There's no lie, I will hold you Come over Forever be my lover oh, my name is... And how have you been? Yeah, I've been good I've been good I'm happy to have you here After such a long time Thank you Thank you for having me <laughs> yes. How are you? is your brother back? He's yes, back he now, eh? Yes, he is. He's back. Okay. That young man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're welcome to Amazing Minds. If you're not following the podcast, you can catch the show right here on YouTube every Monday and Friday. And you can listen to the podcast on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. You are welcome to Bible Talks Part 6. We're doing. Uh, the Godhead part two today, talking about the Father, Son, and Spirit. And if you watched the previous, the part one of this particular topic, uh, then you you probably have an introduction to this subject. We talked about the Father, Son, and Spirit, God having made us after his own image and likeness. He made us uh, threefold beings, spirit, soul, and body. And in our uh, earlier Bible talks, we talked about how man is a spirit, lives in a body and has a soul. Your soul being your mind, your will, and your emotions. And we talked about the Father, the Son, and the Spirit being God, three but one. Uh, one God, three persons. So I'm here with Lamek Kasonde. Uh, I don't know how, you know you have so many names. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I don't know which of your names you prefer. Uh, Lamek and Kasonde, fine. Lamek and Kasonde, right? What do you usually introduce yourself as? Mm, Lamek to some people who are close, then Kasonde to everyone. Oh, so more people know Kasonde? Because I've actually heard more people call you Kasonde than, than Lamek. Lamek, even though I've always stuck with Lamek. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you were shocked when I called you yesterday calling you Kasonde. Yeah, I bit a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh, we did a number. Lamek was one of my very first mentors when I began my my walk with the Lord in a more serious way. Uh, when I began to encounter the Lord and uh, learn certain things, he had gone ahead of me. You know, when I tell him, ah, the Lord spoke to me, he would say, oh, really? This is what you're hearing. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm, I'm glad to have him on the show. And this, for me, is a subject that I believe he has a good understanding and revelation on uh, the Godhead. So I don't know what you will start by in telling us about the Godhead. Okay. So um, it's an interesting uh, topic because um, it's very uh, personal to me. Yeah. Like I'm um, talking about God and about uh, the Godhead Okay, uh, before that, let's just uh, pray. Let's just pray. Okay. I'm used All right. to praying, yes. Okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for good health. Lord, we, we thank you for each and every person who is listening and each and every person who will listen, each and every person who will hear, each and every person who will come across this. That, Lord, you make these weak words into your mighty transforming words. That, Lord, we may touch the hearts of your people to the core so that they may come to the knowledge of you. That, Lord, by the name of Jesus, everyone shall be saved. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the worship. We give you all the adoration. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Okay. Wow, that was wonderful. Amen. Okay. Yes, so what can you tell us about the Godhead? I would really like you to just, you know, start from the, your very first thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yes. Um, to begin with, uh, I just love to say, Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. Amen. Amen. We need to acknowledge the presence of God because yeah. the Holy Spirit is God. The Holy Spirit is everywhere at once. He's omnipresence. 
he's omnipresent because he's everywhere at once. Mm. But we need a revelation to know that he's here. Yeah. And we need to acknowledge him and welcome him for him to reveal himself to us. Amen. So Amen. Just welcome the Holy Spirit wherever you're listening from or watching from. Just welcome him right now. Amen. Amen. Okay. So um, in the Bible, yeah, you won't find the word Trinity, but you'll find the word Godhead and you'll find the word Deity, mm, mm. which is talking about the Godhead. Yeah. Uh, it's important because when you meet different sets of people, or different people from different denominations. If you're talking to some people and you just say the word Trinity, some people's minds will just leave. They'll just forget about what you even want to tell them because you've mentioned the word Trinity. Yeah. <laughs> but when you mention the word Godhead, mm-hmm. at least they'll still remain with some interest. Like, what is this person talking about? Remember, we are on amazing minds. So yes. we have to speak to the mind. Amen. It's about paradigm shifts. It's about mindsets shifting yeah. with the word of God. Amen. Amen. So um, the Godhead um, is interesting. We've got the Father, we've got the Son, and we've got the Holy Spirit. Many of us know about the Father. And uh, obviously we first come to find him in uh, Genesis chapter 1, mm. verse 1. Uh, in Hebrew, when it um, talks about God, uh, the Father is the Ruach Elohim. Mm. Then in verse 2, when we find that the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters, his name in Hebrew is the Ruach HaKodesh. That's mm, the mm. Holy Spirit. Mm, mm. Amen. Then when we come to uh, Jesus or the Word or Yeshua, amen, mm. Jesus or Yeshua or the Word, because he is the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. So the Godhead, we know about the Father. We know about the Son. Right now, the Father is in heaven. The Son is in heaven, but the Holy Spirit is here on earth with us. And it's interesting that many would want to know about the Father and about the Son, but that can be possible if we don't know the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is the one who helps us to know about the Father and about the Son. So we need to know this person of the Godhead who is with us on the earth. Um, I'm focusing on him because it's difficult for you to know the other members of the Godhead without knowing Mm. the Holy Mm. Spirit. Mm. Yes, we, we have heard it said many times that he's not a power, but he's got power. (laughs) He's not a force, but he's got force. He's not a wind, but he can come like wind. Amen. Amen. So the Holy Spirit is real. And you know, it pains me that many people still don't know that he's a person, like he has an actual personality. What makes a person, uh, apart from them having uh, a body, is actually their soul. Mm. And um, your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. emotions. Yeah. And uh, um, as we have seen in, in the word of God, and as we will see, uh, if time allows it, you get to see uh, those elements or those um, attributes are in the personality of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Um, I'll go to the book of John, John 16, John 16, verse 7. Okay. John 16, verse 7. 
So the book of John, it's in the Old Testament. It's just after um, Obadiah. Yeah, just go there. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. I, I was just trying to make sure that <laughs> the listeners and those watching, and those that watch are following, you know, like um, it's important. Yeah. Just yeah. to make sure, yeah. So like, okay, the book of John is in the New Testament. Okay. <laughs> so John chapter 16, verse 7. Uh, it reads, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. You know, this is interesting. This is God the Son. This is Yeshua. This is the word of God made flesh. Come on, this is Jesus. I'm like, this is... I call him the greatest superhero. <laughs> like, this is like the greatest superhero. Like, this is the real Superman, yeah. Jesus, the yeah. Christ. Amen. So, you see, Jesus here is telling you that, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. How is it to our advantage that Jesus goes away? I'm like, come on, he's doing miracles left, right, and center. This is Jesus. Yeah. And you see this Jesus is telling us that it is to our advantage that he goes away because He's telling us that if if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. So it was important and necessary for Jesus to go so that the Holy Spirit could come and be with us. Amen. Thank mm. you, Jesus, for leaving us. Amen. Amen. We <laughs> love you for that, Jesus. We love you. Because you see, uh, yes, it's been said. Jesus could be at one place at a time. The Holy Spirit is everywhere at once. Yes, 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 yes. But that's not just uh, uh, the only thing that we need to focus on. What you need to understand is that the Holy Spirit is another like Jesus. Mm. So he is also like Jesus. He is another, another. Another like Jesus. Amen. So um, let's go to John 14. John 14. John 14. Yes, verse uh, 16. It says, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever. That what? He may abide what? With you forever. The spirit of truth. Are you seeing what Jesus is talking about? Jesus is calling the Holy Spirit the spirit of truth. The Holy Spirit is not a lying spirit. He's not a false spirit. He's not an evil spirit. He is the spirit of truth mm. whom the world cannot receive. Even today, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. Notice he dwells what? With you and will be in you. Yeah. Amen. And I'll not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Mm. Interesting. Let's uh, jump to verse uh, 26. Okay. Verse 26. Verse okay. 26. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, he will teach you all things. Hello? The Holy Spirit is supposed to teach you all things, not some things. All things. All is all. All things. Okay. And will bring to remembrance all things that I said to you. Amen. Amen. Then, then I'll jump again to John chapter 15. Verse 26 again. Hmm? Notice we're catching verse 26 a lot. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So John chapter 15. Verse 26. Verse 26. Okay. But the helper, but when the helper comes, whom I will send, whom whom I shall send to you from the Father. Whom I shall send to you from whom? The Father. The Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father. Mm. The Spirit of what? Truth, who proceeds from the Father. He will testify of me. The Holy Spirit testifies of Jesus. Yeah. Are you getting me? The Holy Spirit testifies of Jesus. Amen. Then we're going back to John chapter 16. Yeah. I love the next verses like where like we're about to go. Yeah. This ties the Godhead in a beautiful way. Mm, mm. So John chapter 16, verse 13. We'll start from there. It reads, however, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. So Jesus is repeating this. 
when the Holy Spirit comes, he'll guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. Yeah, this is interesting, but if I was to go deep in this, we wouldn't have much time to <laughs> deal with it. But I can just say that when Jesus came, he was under authority. Mm. Even when the Holy Spirit came, he's also under authority. Mm. Yeah. So even you, you also need to be under authority. It's important to be under authority. Mm. Okay, so I'll just leave that one there. Verse 14. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. Hello. This is God the Son saying that the Holy Spirit will glorify him. And the Holy Spirit will take of what is his. So the Holy Spirit will take of what is Jesus and declare it to you and to me. Mm. Verse 15. Pay attention. All things that the Father has are mine. So Jesus is saying that all things that the Father has are his, therefore yep. Jesus. Then Jesus goes on to say, therefore, I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. What do you see there? The things that are for Jesus are for the Holy Spirit. The things that are for the Father are for Jesus. And the things that are for the Father are for the Holy Spirit. I'm trying to show you that the Godhead here, the one, yeah. what's for the Father is for the Son and the Holy Spirit. They are one. What we need to be focusing on when we're looking uh, on the Godhead, it's about their operation, their function, how we get to see that the Father is the operator because he operates. Mm, how we mm, see that mm. the Son is the administrator, he administrates. Then we see the Holy Spirit is the manifester because he comes to manifest that which has been mm. uh, spoken. Mm. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we need to see the different... Um, functionalities as well in that. So it's very important, yeah. So moving on again to focus on this person called the Holy Spirit, you know? Yeah. It's interesting that many people don't even know that the Holy Spirit is with you even before you accept Jesus. Imagine that he is with you before you accept him. It's just amazing. Mm, mm. And what touch like what touches me a lot is this. The Holy Spirit is the most ignored and misunderstood person in the church. Mm. Yet he is the power of the Godhead. Wow. <laughs> It's just amazing. The Bible says he raised Jesus from the dead. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Romans 8, 11. Yes. Imagine. Mm. Romans 8, 11, eh? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also interesting when you say that uh, the Holy Spirit is with us even before we receive Jesus because Jesus says he shall be with you mm -hmm. and he shall be, he is with you, but he shall be in you. Mm -hmm. uh, and the world cannot see him mm -hmm. and therefore they cannot receive him. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Go on. Amen, amen, amen. So, it's amazing that this person of the Godhead who was left with us yeah. is the one who is the most ignored person in the church. Like, we need to change. Something needs to change. Something needs to happen. We need to know him. <laughs> we need to know about him. Amen. So, I'll go to, um, let's go to First Corinthians. First Corinthians, okay. Chapter 12. Okay. I'll start from uh, verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away to these dumb idols, however you were led. Mm. Verse 3. This is the verse. Yeah. Verse 3. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus a kissed. Mm. And no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Wow. You see, the Holy Spirit has got some work before salvation. He's working in the background. And even mm. after salvation, he's also working. Before salvation... 
he is with you. Before you accept Jesus, he is with you. And when you accept Jesus and as your Lord and Savior, he is in you. Amen. That's yeah. the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, where he comes to live in you, to dwell in you, to live in your spirit or in your heart. He comes to live in you. That's just amazing. Before you accept Jesus with you, he... He is the one who is convicting you of sin, of righteousness, of judgment, convicting, not condemning. Yeah. The enemy condemns you, but God convicts you. There's a difference. So he's convicting you so that you can come to the knowledge of Jesus. And after that, now, when you receive the Lord Jesus, he is in you. Then he begins to speak to you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So like, um, that's just amazing. That's just amazing. You see, the Holy Spirit is interesting. Then I'll just... You know, it's mm-hmm. it's it's interesting mm-hmm. that the Godhead, um, for many people, we focus, as you say, we focus mm-hmm. on the Father mm-hmm. and we focus on the Son mm-hmm. because these, uh, the Father had his dispensation mm-hmm. where he actively did things that... Uh, even unbelievers could see. You, I mean, the mm-hmm. earth swallowed people up. Mm-hmm. He had a physical uh, place on earth where they could say God dwells there mm-hmm. uh, in the Ark of the Covenant. Mm-hmm. And when the son came, he was the, the Bible says, in him dwells the fullness of the Godhead mm-hmm. bodily. Yes. And so people could see. Mm-hmm. But there's something interesting that Jesus said just before he left, because mm-hmm. as we have said before, mm-hmm. the father had a physical dwelling place. Mm-hmm that people could see mm-hmm. when they get into the temple. Mm-hmm. And the son came, he had a physical dwelling place within his body. Mm-hmm. But when before Jesus left, he said something interesting. He said, blessed is he mm-hmm. who believes mm-hmm. even without seeing. Mm-hmm. And interesting enough, in this last dispensation, which is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. uh, God has decided that he comes to us uh, in a way that we cannot see. So uh, Jesus also very much highlighted that the world cannot receive him because they cannot see him. Mm -hmm. And this shows us how uh, the world operates based on what they see, Mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to, you know, the Bible says we move by faith and not by sensory perception. Mm -hmm. So the world is waiting to feel or to see or to taste, but God's ways are different. And it's interesting to narrow in on this person, Mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit, to understand exactly what his work is in in helping us understand God. Amen. Yeah. Yes. And just on that, Mm. you know, it was okay when God was in a burning bush. Mm -hmm. It was okay. (laughs) It was okay. Because they saw the burning bush. It was okay. And when God was in a box, the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. It was also okay. Yeah. Because God was in a box. The Ark of the Covenant. But, <laughs> but things started changing when God became man. He yeah. was born in the Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus came. Yeah. It was first shaky, shaky, but we came to accept it. But now the dispensation has changed. <laughs> uh, we have the Holy Spirit. Jesus unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> we have what? The Holy Spirit. Hmm? Yeah. Yes. Very interesting. Moses had a burning bush, but we have a burning book, the Bible. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the Bible. Wow. Do you, do you remember when Jesus Christ uh, arose from the dead? And he met two disciples walking uh, along the road from one city to the other. I believe his name must have been Cleopas, one of the disciples. And they were talking. So Jesus decides to walk with them. And uh, they ask him, have you heard about this man they just killed, Jesus? And he says, oh, really? Tell me about him. And so they begin to explain and explain. And Jesus now begins to tell them about himself from the scriptures right from the start, Mm -hmm. talking about how all the prophets talked about him, how the word of God talked about him. And it reminds me of his words, you search the scriptures because you think in them you have life, Mm -hmm. but they talk about me. And later on when Jesus Christ 
uh, revealed himself mm -hmm. and disappeared. Uh, I'm, I'm referring to the what you said about the burning book. Mm -hmm. They said, ah, did our hearts not burn? when he talked to us, mm -hmm. you know, because Jesus is the word of God. He has that burning effect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he it's burns true. your heart with desire. That's true. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Burning bush, burning book. By the way, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I hope you have been following Bible Talks. We started from an introduction to a walk with God. Then we went to spirit, soul, and body, part one. We did part two and part three. And then we got into... The Godhead, which is what we're discussing now. We're doing part two of the Godhead and we have narrowed in on the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the one that reveals God to us. He's the one that reveals Jesus to us. And uh, very interesting, Lamech has always uh, caused me to feel this desire to want to hear the Holy Spirit every time he speaks. And that, you know, that's very interesting. Every time you speak, I feel like, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm not hearing him enough. <laughs> He's my bestest friend. Yes, yeah, so just <laughs> just before just before we, we close today's, uh, I would like to ask you something, mm -hmm. uh, and especially for the benefit of the viewers. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I've touched on this subject, but one day we'll talk more about it in detail, mm -hmm. about hearing God, but mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit, the fact that he reveals Jesus to us, mm -hmm. how exactly does he do that? How exactly does the Holy Spirit reveal Jesus to us? I love that. I love that. Um, first of all, the Holy Spirit does more than talk. He communicates. Mm. And one of the ways in which he communicates, it's through his word. There are times where like, you just get an impression that you want to read the word of God. Most of the times, that's not you telling you mm, mm. to go and open the word of God, the Bible to read. No, 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 that's, that, that, that's him. That still small voice that is telling you to forgive, give, read your Bible, do this in the right way, not like this. That's him. Yeah. So he speaks through impressions and he speaks through his word. So there are various ways in which he communicates and he also communicates through dreams and visions. I'll throw in just um, a few. You've had dreams of where you're in the toilet or you're bathing or you are in the kitchen and something is burning or you've been taken back to an old place where you used to stay or your old school those mean something god is communicating or there's a teacher teaching you in a dream mm. guess what maybe that teacher is the holy spirit yeah so he communicates he's still communicating through many ways and sometimes you can turn on the tv and it's speaking about something which you've been missing or something which you've been feeling. Or you go this side and someone tells you something which has been on your mind. He is communicating. He is trying to get your attention. But the question is, are you listening? Are you paying attention? So remember, God does more than talk. He communicates. We have to touch uh, he, um, the different ways in which he communicates. So that's just amazing. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> you know, uh, in, in closing, I'll say this. One of my uh, favorite gospel singers said something in one of her songs. She said, God is not silent as men accuse if we are listening. I'm sure you are, you are uh, familiar with the song. <laughs> and uh, God is a master communicator. God has been around for a while. He understands how the mind works. He understands how the world works. The Bible says that you may know that it is God who rules in the kingdoms of men. God is more involved in our world and in our lives than we know or think. Just as I said uh, earlier, I think we were discussing spirits one body. The world is more spiritual than we think because oh, when we say oh, spiritual, yes. Oh, yes. we think of it in a very mysterious way. But as I said uh, before, when your mouth is closed and you are talking, then you need to understand that's spiritual. When your eyes are closed and you can see, 
you need to understand there's something spiritual happening there. When you are asleep and you can remember communications that happened, something spiritual is happening there. So God is not silent as men accuse Amen. if we are listening. Amen. Lamech, yes? Just one more thing before we close. I mm. just want to um, read this verse for you. It's um, Ephesians 4.30. But I'll, oh, read, wow, wow. but I'll read it from the message translation. Okay. And this is what it says. Don't grieve God. Don't break his heart. Wow. His Holy Spirit moving and breathing in you is the most intimate part of your life, making you fit for himself. Don't take such a gift for granted. Mm. Amen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Again, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Please leave your comment. What have you learned? What would you like to learn? Um, we've put Lamex handle somewhere on the screen. So um, please uh, check him out, follow him, ask him questions if you have any. And we are glad to have you watching. And we're glad to have you part of the channel. Bye for now. See you. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.